So the tune that we're going to be doing today is Galway Girl. And I'll go ahead and play it for you so that you can have an idea of how it goes. Has anybody heard of this tune? Some yeses, some noes. Okay. Yeah, it's a fairly common one, and it's now a pop song, which I recently discovered. Ed Sheeran covered it, I think. I'm not sure if it's the same one. I don't know if anybody knows, but this one is the traditional tune that we'll be learning today. So it goes like this. <laughs> into the melody and as we go along if anybody has any questions feel free to let me know I'm gonna be teaching phrase by phrase by ear but if anybody needs to hear anything repeated or just has any questions about notes or rhythms feel free to drop those in the chat or just unmute yourself and let me know about that and I'll be keeping an eye on the chat as we go all right so let's get into this first phrase it goes like this I'll go ahead and play it and then I'll have you repeat it back to me go ahead and give that a try all right so now let's go ahead and put everything together we're going to take it all the way back to the very beginning of the verse and then we'll get straight into the chorus so we have <coughs> excuse me one time through the verse melody and then we get into the chorus and we play that melody twice so let's go ahead and take it from the beginning. We'll keep this tempo for now, and I'll count us in. Here we go, starting on open D, and the first little bit, just in case you forgot, goes like this. So we have those two repeating little figures there. All right, so here we go. Let's take it from the top. One, two, three. Well, let's go ahead and move on to adding in some fun things into this melody because there's actually a lot that we can do with it. And before we do that, just quickly, does anybody have any questions about the melody? Because we want to make sure we really have those notes first before we can add anything to it. Any questions? No questions? Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take it from the beginning. And I'm going to show you what I do with this melody as far as adding in some ornaments, double stops, and different things that you can take along with you. And as a reminder, these are all just suggestions. You don't have to do all of these. If there are other things that you're hearing that you really like, feel free to add those in. This is your opportunity to get really creative. And the thing about playing these tunes is once you have the melody, once you have it really solid in your fingers, you can really do anything with it. You can add in your own ornaments, you can add in double stops if you want, you don't have to. You can add in turns if you want, but you don't have to. So that's the beauty of just kind of making it your own. And this is the fun part. So let's go ahead and take it from the beginning. And we're gonna start with some double stops. <laughs> So we'll just take this first phrase and I'll have you just repeat after me. So because we're in the key of D major, we can... So let's go ahead and take it from the beginning and we're going to put all of this together. So if any of those places come up, any of those sets of notes come up that you want to add in that little roll down, or if you think of any other grace notes as we go along, feel free to be creative and throw those in there. But we're going to try to add both the double stops and the grace notes this time. So even if you can just do one or the other, or if you're doing the double stops and you can just get one or two of those little roll downs, that's great. That's awesome. So let's just take it from the beginning and see what we can do. So here we go. And we'll take it a little bit on the faster side this time, just so it's a little closer to tempo. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> 